the best he had, the only he had, and he gave it for wretches just like us when he first found us. Amen. You remember when, when, when you first came to Christ? Yeah. You remember? I remember when I first came to Christ, I, 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 I just wasn't no good. All right. Amen. I was unclean. Right. One fifth to live, wasn't ready to die. Better die then. Guess what? I died in my sin. Right. Amen. But God sent his son Jesus. He sent the best he had. Him. Yeah. And then when, when Jesus came, you know, he was so obedient and he was so in tune with his father till he wanted to please him. Amen? He wanted to do the will of the father. And so in that, he gave his life for us. He made a choice. And life is filled with choices. Whether they be good, whether they be bad, whether they be beneficial, not beneficial, life is full of choices. And it's amazing how we sometimes we embrace all choices, all various choices, instead of embracing the choice to live for God and to be committed to Him. And, and as I was pondering, you know, so many things were coming to mind. I kept thinking about little things about life. You know how we go to a good restaurant and the greens are good, the dead balls are good. The meatloaf is good, and the cornbread is showing up good. We'll call about best buddies. We'll call about best friends. You got to tell you. I went to one of 